So we'll move on to um, the next question, and that is what, what skill sets do I need as an organisation, as a leader in the space? What skill sets would I need to get started in this area? Um, so, yeah, the, and this is a really great question. One of, our, one of our kind of core ambitions as an organisation is to build capacity in the sector, not just, uh, you know, do the analytics um, and, and create the models and hand them off, but um, you know, embed within these organizations the ability to think deeply about their data sources, um, you know, what intelligence they want to gather about their operations and their services, and, you know, what the opportunities are for applying data and analytics and predictive modeling. Um, so in terms of skill sets that people um, really need, again, you know, what we, what we would say is firstly, um, you really need to have a deep knowledge of the entirety of the organization that, or the entirety of the, the part of the organization that you're trying to, um, you're trying to help. Um, where we sort of, where, we're, where I was articulating a, um, a conceptual framework for the process that's underway um, in that business, then, you know, that would be the first step is really understand the mechanism that's at play. Uh, and that's, that's in, you know, with regard to that first point on the slide here is understanding the question. So, um, you know, what's the process that's a play. what are we trying to address what are our core um what are our core metrics that we're using to understand whether or not we're achieving our mission um the next then and really you know what we would then say is once you understand the question we can then help to develop um those analytics on the basis of those questions so once a question is well formed um somebody with uh you know with mathematical skills with um with uh, dashboard building skills and modeling skills um, you know, that kind of a person with those kind of skills can take those well-formed questions and produce the kinds of intelligence and the kinds of results that an organization is really um, really looking for um, so if an organization you know is of a, is of a sufficient size um, you know the, the next step for them might be to start talking to um, perhaps an analytics uh, company such as ours, or perhaps start talking to individuals that they might um, that they might be able to uh, get to help them with those um, with those technical aspects. So, what might a dashboard look like that shows us, you know, how this process is operating and how that process is operating? Um, you know, what what might a modeling um, you know tool look like that helps us understand, you know, when this is likely to happen and when that's likely to happen? How would we deploy those, um, you know, in our organization? The kinds of skills really, um, you know, understanding the, the the framework and the essence of the problem that you're, you're trying to solve, um, you know, and then understanding the mapping between the predictive modeling uh, and that so the solution and that problem um, to, to understand the kind of answer that a predictive model is going to provide. 